We got to let the people know who are outside that they're missing something right now. So who's ready for some lightning talks? I love it. Love the energy. Um, my name's Jason Hibbets. I'm a community manager uh, for opensource.com, and this is... Ricky Inslee. I'm also a community manager on opensource.com. Uh, we're just going to do a brief introduction um, because we know we've got seven amazing speakers that you came here to listen to and really not listen to us. So uh, really, um, for those of you, hopefully you've seen um, at our booth or around the conference, uh, we love All Things Open. This is a huge partnership uh, for us. Um, as you know, the content is amazing, and so we're bringing just a sliver of that amazing content here to you on the main stage for lunch. Um, we've got, I've got a great team of folks. My, uh, team, my team team is over here. My extended team with the moderators and columnists are over here, and they do some amazing work. And I think one of the things that we hear very often is that um, folks like yourselves don't know that you have a story to tell or a way to tell your story, and opensource.com is that platform for you. If you'd like to get in touch with us, um, this is how, how you can contribute. We've got a web form that'll walk you through um, kind of some of the steps that are necessary. We try to make that as easy as possible. You can always email us at open at opensource.com. That goes to my entire team, so someone uh, will respond. And then uh, ourselves, uh, the, the team, the moderators, and a lot of writers are hanging out on Freenode at IRC on uh, poundopensource.com. So we figured we should tell you why you should contribute. So Ricky and I are going to go through that. All right. Uh, last year, we sent a note out to a bunch of our writers and um, moderators, and we asked them to tell us why they contribute, because we had an idea of why we thought people would write for us. Um, but we wanted to hear what they actually said, and we were really excited about a bunch of their responses. Um, we heard from several people who uh, we reached out to that they'd actually received jobs um, as a result of having written for us. It's also a really good way, uh, if you've got a, a, a new project or you're doing something uh, interesting with your project, to put a spotlight on it. So we've seen many examples where uh, we have, in some cases, brought down someone's project website because we sent them so much traffic that it couldn't handle it. That was a, a couple years ago, and the infrastructure has gotten a lot better. Uh, it's another uh, great way to grow your network also. Not only will you get to know those of us working on the site, but it's a great way to network with our moderators and our other writers. And then people in open source communities will see what you've written and often will reach out to you, um, either in the comments or uh, tracking you down online or in IRC. Yeah. We also, as you go to a lot of talks, you hear, hey, we need more than just coders in open source. We love all the coders. Thank you for what you do. But um, maybe writing is your strong suit, or maybe storytelling is your strong suit. So this is just kind of a different way that you can give back to the, the at-large open source community. Um, it's also a great way to get free professional editing services. You will be working with an editing team, and uh, we will work on polishing your prose, and we will send it back to you for a final review before we publish it to make sure that you're happy with it. So don't worry if you're not a professional writer. We will make you look professional online. Yeah, or if English isn't your first language, we can help with that. And, Absolutely. Um, however, we won't write your book, okay? No, no book writing. Um, we are quite lovable. Uh, if you come to our booth, uh, or you might go by the booth, people come by and give us hugs. It's pretty awesome. They, we, they, they love working with us. So. They ask first. They do, yeah. So. <laughs> Permission, yeah. Yes. Um, and we do make the writing process as easy as possible. Uh, we will work with you from the very beginning, so don't worry if you haven't written for a publication before, um, or if you're nervous, uh, we do give extra uh, time and attention to our first-time writers or for um, first writers, so uh, uh, don't worry about uh, you know, uh, wading into um, uh, getting in over your head or anything, we will definitely make it an easy and fun process for you. And if you've been to the site and you have an account, uh, a lot of you know we, you do earn points you, as you participate and click on things and, and write and comment. You earn points. You don't get anything for the points, but people love competing for the points, so just, just so you know. Uh, and then we've got this really cool project, and this is like Ricky's, like one of her childs, right? Yes. So. She's going to tell you all about um, our yearbook. Yes. My background is in print publishing, and I've um, always wanted to work with Red Hat to do um, uh, some kind of a print piece. But then I joined Red Hat. I had to infiltrate the company. And um, uh, last year, they worked with me to actually put out a magazine, um, a, a open source yearbook. It's our new open source annual yearbook. And uh, so what we did is we published these articles as a series of articles starting in December throughout the month. And uh, we collected the series and posted them online as a free PDF download. 
And then we also have um, free print copies that we brought to the event. If you swing by the booth, um, please do and grab several because we brought quite a few that we would like to give out to you. We've already started working on the 2016 edition and um, uh, those articles should start appearing in late November and they will run all the way through December and then in January we'll release the 2016 edition of the yearbook.